It explodes, doesn't it? It explodes! Today, I'm using the ultimate weapon in order to take down Sunday. And let's just say he's not gonna know what hit him. It's called the Rapier of Revenge. This weapon here not only deals 80% of max health damage, but whenever I get enough max damage to myself to die, this happens. What? Yeah, how insane is that? It's not gonna be easy making this thing, but by the end of this episode, we're gonna have the ultimate weapon to take down Sunday. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on his face. Also, I have super exciting news. We're gonna be launching a brand new channel, Cappy ASF. It's gonna be all sorts of Minecraft fun, and you'll even see me on the channel as well, hosted by none other than your friend, Cappy B. Please, if you love what we do on a daily basis, go and support that channel. I'm gonna have a link down below right at the top of the description. For real, guys, it would mean the world to me. First upload May 1st, let's go! All right, so today's gonna be an absolutely insane day because we have so much work ahead of us in order to get the Rapier of Revenge. Now, if you're wondering how good this sword is, when I say it might be one of the most powerful weapons on the server, I actually mean it. Not only does it deal 80% of max health damage for every single hit, when you take max health damage yourself, it'll actually just revive you back to full, which essentially means this sword is like a totem of undying that also deals 80% health damage to your opponents. I know, how crazy is that? The only real complicated part is that it is going to be really difficult to craft. The good news is, though, we've made plated bones in the past and we have a Stone of Resurgence already on us. The bad news is, though, is that we'll be losing the Stone of Resurgence, which is kind of sad, but it'll all be pushed into one big sortily goodness. And yeah, I made up a word, sortily. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Insane Craft is so intense on computers, it has now broken the second computer of mine, but if you look, everything's going smoothly because I got a brand new one. I wish I was kidding to you and I'm not. I literally had to buy a new computer because Insane Craft broke it. Yeah. So for those wondering why there wasn't an episode Monday. All right, well, first things first, let's take care of one of these mini games. Now, in order to get over to it, we need a bunch of electron recyclers, external clovenite batteries, and clovenite power banks. But luckily enough, they aren't that difficult to make. I'm gonna go ahead and move this crafting table over to the wall there just so we can actually have access to it a little easier. There we go, perfect. So in order to make a clovenite power bank, all you have to do is put one piece of clovenite, which we got last episode, surround it with some void cut metals, and you're pretty much good to go. And then from there, we have 64 of the power banks, which by the way, is way more than you actually need. The amount that's recommended is 10 of them. Uh, so yeah, you kind of get the point. Then from here, you have external clovenite batteries, so we'll just go ahead and make sure that we get at least one stack arena of those as well. And then last but not least is the electron recycler, which is this deviant gold, glow blood solution, and master charge redstone. All stuff we've gotten a million times over, and thanks to this machine right here, we're pretty much able to store all these ingredients on mass. I mean, like, no kidding, I think we have 64 of every single item that Insanecraft ever had to offer. Offer. Even Sunday's armor, which I still find hilarious that we have. All right, well, last but not least, we just need to make this reinforced blade, and we can go ahead and start checking out this area. Now, keep in mind, this isn't going to be easy beating this minigame, so we're going to have to go ahead and get a bunch of extra reinforced blades, because that's what it takes in order to start it. Or actually, before we go ahead and do that, why don't we go ahead and actually, we'll still head to the same dimension, but instead of doing the minigame first, what I'm thinking that we do is we get the custom crafting down. Yeah, how cool is that? There's custom crafting, and it's actually not as bad as you think to do. All right, so this is the first time I've ever tried doing this, but to my understanding, we just have to go ahead and take these three ingredients and kind of power this thing using them. So you take the external clovenite batteries, and then this is where things get weird. Okay, why can't I fly? Fly, fly, no, fly not at the seat. Perfect. So we just go ahead and charge these up. Now they do have a set amount of time that they're charged up. We need to have at least eight of them activated at any time or else the crafting isn't going to work. So let's just go ahead around the uh, queue here. And oh no, oh no, these guys are really obnoxious. So there would happen if you don't have the actual uh, synchronizer on you that we have. So there we go, we just drop those in there and it should in theory start to work so long as we have enough of these powered up. It just take some time to craft and these guys hurt. Oh my God, they hurt bad. They hurt, they hurt really bad. Let's go ahead and use our stone of resurgence and come on combine already in there combine oh geez oh geez come on come on dude it's not working quick enough dude we're making so many of the dimensionally torn individuals and literally like i said if we'd have a synchronizer that's what we would look like wait can i just do a little bit of this yeah there we go sometimes i forget how powerful we actually are on this server okay that should in theory work i don't know how long it's gonna take though 
11 minutes later. And there it is, everyone. That took way too long to activate. That was actually getting kind of scary. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. gosh. Okay, they're getting me around me quick. You get away. You get away. Oh, you get away. But there it is, everyone. The Clovenite Power Hub. So now we have another piece of the puzzle. All that's really left is a power blade and getting mortality solution. So let's go ahead and get the mortality solution because I can already tell this part's going to be really difficult. All right. So for this part, we're going to have to not only make a really weird scientific thing called the Kabayo corruption powder, but we're also gonna have to make something that Sunday made a long time ago, which is his sonic shield. That's right, everyone. We're stealing the thunder from him and making one of his most coveted protective items. Now, in order to make this, it's actually super easy. We could have done it a long time ago. I didn't realize that it was, you know, that readily available to us. So we need shimmering gloss, void cut metal, and some reinforced glass. And that's all you need in order to make for us a sonic shield. The reason we want this is because the monsters that we're gonna be facing off against can can shoot out sonic blasts that kill you in one hit. Now, I know everyone's probably thinking right now, Jerome, you dummy, you got the Axiom Celestarium. And you're right, I am a dummy, but not that dumb. Okay, that's a lie, I am that dumb. But I did some research this time. You don't want to block them completely because the goal is to have the sonic pulse hit a mutated mushroom. And you're probably like, wait a minute, how are you going to be mutating mushrooms out here? Well, through the use of this bio-corruption powder here and some mushrooms that come from the Forge Fire dimension, also known as the Lost Infinity Stone dimension, that is how you get to go ahead and do it. So we're going to need a lot of bio-corruption fluid in case any of this goes wrong. Which, knowing us, things always tend to go wrong. In fact, that's like kind of the only setting we've got is wrong. All right, well, let's go upstairs to our teleportation area and let's get... Oh, wait, actually, don't I have one down here now? I forgot that I put one in the corner here. It's my new quick teleport area. Perfect. Now we just have to head to the overgrown biome. All right, so here it is down here. And honestly, I'm a little bit afraid. So we're going to hold out our sonic shield for this and pretty much just cry. So we have a bunch of this stuff so I can show you how it works. You ready? See the mushrooms around here? You go ahead and use biocorruption powder. Notice how they turn like a purple color. Now we have to get these giant things in the sky that shoot out sonic blasts to hit one of those. And if we get hit by one of those, normally we die. But the sonic shield actually makes it so they deal almost no damage at all. It makes you pretty impervious to sonic attacks actually which is really cool all right so they should spawn in around here i'm surprised we haven't encountered one just yet there's one right now all right perfect you see it only did like 200 percent of our health damage now the goal is to somehow get it to hit one of these many mushrooms out here which is uh gonna be one of those things that's easier said than done okay so let's see can we pull him over here come on Come on, buddy. So you can't have him hit you. He's got to hit one of these. There we go. Oh, my God. I barely pulled out the Sonic Shield in time. Okay, wait. Did any of those hit? Did any of those hit? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, here we go. Come on here, buddy. There you go. Just keep... No, no, no. Oh, dodge that. Dodge that. Dodge that. Did any of those hit? None of those hit yet? Oh, my gosh, dude. He's really making our work cut out for us here. Come on. Come on. Not one of those is direct hit it, really? Okay, come on. All right, this is really getting difficult. I don't understand how we're supposed to do this. All right, there we go. Wait, did something drop? It dropped! Mutant Fungus! Oh my gosh, we actually did end up getting one. All right, perfect. So we only need one of those, which means after that point, we should be all good to make the rest of this. Now, the reason we need this is that we can brew something called the Mortality Solution, which is actually really easy to make. You just need Nightmare Solution, which we've already made way before in the past, two Mutant Fungus, which we got, and a Super muta Mutated Spider Eye, which we already have as well. So pretty much, we just go and craft that up, and we got another piece of the puzzle. Which means at that point, there's really not much left for us to do except for doing the minigame in order to get the Power Blade. Then we get to challenge Thandy to the ultimate fight of a lifetime. All right, here we go. Starlit globe into the starlit dimension and then back to the overworld. It's like my cheap little teleport strat. All right, so let's go ahead and make that up there and perfect. So we can put this off to the side here. We got the mortality solution and then we also have for ourselves the Clovenite power hub. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's just these power blades. The only problem is this last mini game is a puzzle related one. And my brain doesn't work too well. I'm scared. Now, the last thing we need to make is a power analyzer, which is super easy. It's heat-resistant glass, high-tolerance wire, and deviant iron, which I have all scrambled throughout these chests. All right, now here we go. And boom, with the power analyzer, we're going to be able to play the next big mini game. All right, well, the last thing to do is to head on down to this dimension and actually try and find one of these mini games. Wish me luck. 
not just on finding it, but also doing the minigame itself. It's a brain tweezer. All right, so this is the game right here. And let me show you guys exactly how to play this. So you take a reinforced blade, right click that, and now you have to play the transfer cells game. So using the analyzer, it'll tell you exactly how many dots are supposed to be in each one. This container needs two cells and it has two cells in it. So you're good. This one needs three, but it only has two at the moment. So we need to fix that. This needs zero. So what we can do is we can take that container eight selected to transfer from, move it over there, container nine, no, wait, oh, what I meant there to there. And wait, actually, that's a bad idea. Just realize, because this doesn't take one, it takes all of them. So we need to find one that has one right here. Perfect. And this container needs zero. Okay, so if I was to right-click that one, shift right-click it here. So there we go. I found out what the problem was. It turns out that you can't hold the synchronizer while you do it. So that's going to be really difficult because if we don't hold it for long enough, you saw what happens to us. We get dimensionally torn in half. Yikes. So anyway, guys, if you take a look at these now, we have two. We have three. This one's supposed to be zero, though. So we have to move all of those. How much is this one supposed to be? That's also supposed to be zero. Okay, that's uh, not good. Um, how many are you supposed to be? Zero. Everything's supposed to be zero. Okay. Zero. What in the heck? Okay, that one's supposed to be seven. Okay, that's good then. That's good. Wait. That's supposed to be zero. So what we could do is select that. And that one's supposed to be seven. Move those to there. So now that satisfies that one and that one, which is perfect. Okay, what about this one? This one needs two. Okay. You're supposed to be zero, though. What about you? Nine. Okay. So I can take all these from here, right click, put them over to there. So now it looks like that's not good. That one's good, though. Okay, so now we need to find two somewhere. So this one's two. Is that supposed to be? That's supposed to be zero. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we'll right click that one. And then we'll bring it over to here. And that one's supposed to be it. The levels are correct. Come see me. I did it. We got a reward. We actually beat the minigame. Oh, my gosh. Hi, guy. And there it is. The power blade. I can't believe we were able to beat that so easily. Like, straight up, I thought that was going to be one of the most difficult things in the world. And it actually just ended up not being bad in the slightest. All right. Well, now for the final piece of the puzzle. Let's head downstairs here and let's get ready to craft this thing up. Now, first things first, we need a couple more of those. So there we go. We got the power blades ready to go. We can hop on in here, pull out this, pull out that. And we put the bag of bombs away for now. There we go. And the moment of truth. Oh my goodness. Guys, I think it's safe to say we're going to be unstoppable. But let's figure that out firsthand by going face to face with Sunday. You're going down. All right, Ian. It's time for you to face your match, Get off my buddy. Stairs. Oh, oh, Get off so, my sorry, sorry. I'm going to the railing. Is that okay? Get off my railing. Uh, can, I, can I poop in your front yard? Uh, you can poop wherever you want. Just get off my stairs. All right, get fine. Get off my stairs! Uh, hey, well, listen here, buddy. This right here in my hand will make me the most powerful person on the server. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, yeah. man. Yeah, you know what it does? What does it do? Did it not do anything to me? Do you not know who uh, I am? It does 80% of health damage per hit, and if you oh, kill cute. me in one hit, it just revives me immediately. Oh, let's see if that works, huh? Yeah, give it a try. Oh, was it a tree? Nitro. <laughs> what are nitro logs? <laughs> what does nitrous do, Jerome? <laughs> it explodes, doesn't it? It explodes! Oh my god! What the heck? The sword didn't even work! What? Oh, you know why? You know why? No, I don't the know why. The tree does true damage, Jerome. So yeah, it hits- Okay, okay. No. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's try the- let's try the, the cane of venom. Get off my stairs! No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, let's try the cane all of right, venom. Again. Let's try that one out. What? Wait, how come I- what? I don't understand. You died because of my armor, and that revived me. Uh it oh, actually... you revived! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if you, let's see if you can tank this one. Uh, I might not be able to because it's only got half recharge, but if you give me like 30 seconds. Um, but I can also touch 30. this. Oh! <laughs> Was that you or me? Wait, I did, did you die? I died, yeah. I hit you with the oh. sword and I exploded. Wait, did you? All right, go ahead. There, that's 80%. That doesn't okay. work. Why is it not, why is it not dealing any, why is it not? Why? Why are you not? What? Just keep spamming the drum. Just keep. Just keep spamming. It. No, you're doing that thing that charges up the. <laughs> Let me guess. That's true damage too. Ah, uh, that 
that was fun. What'd you learn, Jerome? What'd you, what'd you learn? I learned that true damage is the real thing and that everything else is a scam. Don't you run for me, Jerome. <laughs> oh, God, are you coming? Please, I've already learned my lesson. Free time! No, 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 no. I hate yep. it here.